welcome to Tranod chemistry classes in this video i am going to discuss about intermediate first year chemistry topic acids bases in this video i am going to discuss about determination of ph of weak base in this acids bases concept this is the 12th video in 11th video i have discussed how to determine the ph of in the previous video i have discussed how to determine the ph of weak acid in this video i am going to discuss how to determine the ph of weak bases thank you for watching tranad chemistry classes please like the video share and subscribe the channel we know that strong bases means strong bases means which dissociates completely which dissociates completely which dissociates completely for example if you take if you take naoh naoh is a strong base that's why it is dissociating completely naoh naoh gives rise to NaOH gives rise to Na plus and OH minus ions. Gives rise to Na plus and OH minus ions. So suppose if the concentration of NaOH is 0.1, then concentration of OH minus is also 0.1. Because as it is almost 100% dissociating, its concentration of base should be taken as the concentration of OH minus ion. So to determine the pH or pOH. For example, to determine the pOH, we need the concentration of OH minus ions. So for strong, for strong bases, for strong bases, as it, as strong bases are completely dissociating, as strong bases are completely dissociating, we can take the concentration of base as the concentration of hydroxide ion. Hydroxide ion. Whereas if you take weak bases, if you take weak bases, their dissociation is not 100%. Their dissociation is not 100%. If you take 100 molecules of a weak base, 10 molecules may dissociate, 20 molecules may dissociate, 30 molecules may dissociate. It depends upon the base to base. For example, if you take a weak base such as BOH, if you take weak base such as BOH, it is dissociating as B plus and OH minus. But there exists an equilibrium between the dissociated form and undissociated form. Dissociated form and undissociated form. Dissociated form and undissociated form. There exists, there exists an equilibrium between the dissociated form and undissociated form. Right? Whereas if you take strong bases, so there is no equilibrium. It is completely dissociating. We will write only in forward direction. For weak bases and weak acids, there exists an equilibrium between this is the undissociated form and this is the dissociated form. Right? This is the undissociated form. This is the dissociated form. There exists an equilibrium between the dissociated form and undissociated form. And uh, let alpha be the degree of dissociation of the base. Degree of dissociation of base. Let alpha be the degree of dissociation of base. Then if we write like this, BOH, this is called ICE, I stable. There exists an equilibrium like this. And this is the B plus and this is the OH plus. Right? So initially, let us assume there is a only one BOH. Then there is no BOH as, uh, as it is a completely undissociated form. We have assumed 1, 0, 0. Then if alpha fraction of this BOH is dissociated, what will happen? Alpha fraction is dissociated. Then alpha will be reduced. That's why change is minus alpha. And uh, newly B plus ions and OH minus ions are forming. How many they will form? plus alpha, plus alpha. That's why we are writing, as it is adding, we are writing plus. As it is removing, that's why we are writing subtracting. 
Now, what is the equilibrium value? Equilibrium value is 1 minus alpha. This is alpha. This is alpha. If C is the concentration, then we will write C into 1 minus alpha. Then it is C alpha. Then it is C alpha. This one we are calling it as the I stable. I C E tables. I C E tables. So initially, I have assumed there is a the, whatever the concentration of BOH is 1. And uh, as I have assumed, there is no dissociation. That's why B plus and OH minus are 0, 0. If alpha fraction of BOH is dissociated, then what will be the change? It is a minus alpha because from 1, alpha has to be removed, uh, subtracted. That's why I have written minus alpha. But here we are adding plus alpha, plus alpha. Now, at equilibrium, the concentration of BOH is 1 minus alpha. And uh, this is alpha, alpha. If C is the actual concentration, then what will happen? C into 1 minus alpha into C alpha into C alpha. Now, if I write the equilibrium constant expression for this equilibrium. Equilibrium constant expression for this equilibrium. Now, what is the equilibrium exists between weak base and this equilibrium constant Kb is given by base dissociation constant B plus and OH minus by BOH. Now, substitute the values. The concentration of B plus is C alpha. This is also C alpha. And BOH is C into 1 minus. Then what will happen? C alpha into C alpha into C into 1 minus. Right? I am cancelling the OC like this. So C alpha square by 1 minus. I am taking out this KB into 1 minus alpha is equal to C alpha. Now as base is very very weak. As base is very weak. Alpha is far less than 1. That's why 1 minus alpha can be written as 1. That's why Kb is equal to C alpha. Kb is equal to what? C alpha square. Kb is equal to C alpha square. Kb is equal to C alpha square. Now, if I write Kb is equal to C alpha square. Now, what is alpha? Alpha square is equal to Kb by C. Alpha is equal to square root of Kb by C. So, to find the pH, to find the pH, what we require? OH minus I concentration. From this table, what is the concentration of OH minus I C alpha. That's why what I can, what we can write is OH minus I concentration is equal to OH minus I concentration is equal to C alpha in place of alpha Kb by C. I am taking C inside. That's why it is becoming C square into Kb by C. C, C will be cancelled. So, answer is root PBC. Once, if we get the concentration of OH minus ion, we can find out the POH, which is equal to log OH minus. We can find the OH minus ion concentration. So, uh, for weak acids and weak bases, we should not calculate the pH by seeing the concentration of the base or acid. We should consider the uh, equilibrium. Yeah, the KB is called base dissociation constant. In my previous video also I have discussed KA is called acid dissociation constant. KA is called acid dissociation constant. KB is called what? Base dissociation constant. Base dissociation constant. So this is the way to determine the pH of weak bases. Weak bases. In my previous video also I have discussed for weak acids for weak acids, H plus ion concentration is given by square root of Ka into C. For weak bases, OH minus ion concentration is root of Kb into C. Where Ka is the acid dissociation constant, where Kb is the base dissociation constant. Base dissociation constant. Now, pH is equal to minus log H plus. That's why minus log into square root of Ka into C. So, which is nothing but minus 1 by 2 into log Ka minus 1 by 2 into log C. Similarly, for POH is equal to minus 1 by 2 into log Kb minus 1 by 2 into log C. Here C is the concentration of the heavy acid. Here C is the concentration of the weak base. So, this is the way to determine the pH of a weak acid or weak base. 
Thank you for watching Trinath Chemistry classes. Please like the video, share and subscribe the channel.